empire, long divided, must unite. A great dynasty burns. Hello everyone, this is Gilly, and welcome to Camelot, the Kingdom of Darkness, my Minecraft survival let's play. And what is that? You have something for me over here? It says, this is a royal letter to be received by the master craftsmen of Camelot. It is of great urgency that I am personally requesting for you to construct a building for all traveling to and from Camelot. There is an area to the right of the entrance that would be work perfect for processing travelers. The construction of Camelot has been slow and grueling because of the lack of villagers. I think that with this new building we can increase travel here and thus for increasing the speed in which we build up our great city. However, before you start on the construction of that, I need for you to construct a building for a proper mail courier. Sending mail via pigeon like a common peasant is embarrassing. King Cletheus. All right. Well, um, I think we know what uh, what we're doing today. We're building a uh, area for for travelers to come in and a mail courier building. I think we can build it right here. Perfect spot. My right, buddy. My right. All right. I'll probably take this and keep it. I don't. I don't think the king would be too happy of me just leaving his mail on the ground. Alright, so uh, let's see what I gotta do to get started on this. Alright, so these are the materials I'm probably gonna go with for this mail courier house because it's gonna be pretty small. I don't, I don't think King Cletheus will mind if I just make a small little building, especially since it's not really the the prime, uh, the primary important build for this episode. So I think this is what I'm gonna go with and. Probably gonna be something like let's see that'll be the door and then it'll be like and even this is still kind of kind of massive I'm not even gonna lie maybe hmm maybe we'll do something like one two three hey you shush up over there boy you here you're in uh you're in timeout all right I think that's good. Two, three, and yeah, I think this is a good size for a house. But yeah, like I said, this isn't the primary build for this episode, so probably I'm not going to build the majority of it on camera. But uh, I think you pretty much get the gist. Hey, what did I say? All I need is like 10 more stairs and I have to come all the way back in the nether, come all the way to this forest, which is probably like 300 blocks away. I don't know why I'm complaining. I got the wood I needed so I can pick <laughs> No! Daddy, no! Oh my god. No, no! Are you... Hello everyone, I'm back, and the house is pretty much finished, however, uh, the recording I, I was doing was horrible, like you could hear my keyboard, you can hear a bunch of background noise, oh this is, is not where I was meant to go, you can hear my keyboard, you could hear a bunch of background noise, it was pretty bad, so I switched my microphone because I had gotten a new microphone, but it, it sucked, it was just not good. For what I needed it for anyways so I switched my microphone and switched my keyboard to one that's a little bit more quiet so now everything's better 
Uh, I'm gonna show you the house in a minute. However, Ashley joined the server for the I uh, well my world for the first time in a while, so I'm gonna go bring her a bed so she can sleep because it's nighttime, and then I will go and show you guys the house. Oh, I already had one here. Take that for now. How the heck did you get <laughs> here? That burps on video, by the way. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, here you go. I'll be making my way downtown. Uh, lights are fast, growing grass. I, I don't know. That's all. Making my way through the mine, eating slime, uh, killing swine. I, I don't know why I'm collecting coal. <laughs> are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually really love it. Honestly, even though it cost me my life to get this wood, I still, I think it gives it a very cozy, but still royal feel. It, 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 it does look like a little male courier house for the king. I think, you know, King Cletheus will be very pleased with this, actually. Um, I, I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite builds, and it still fits in very well in here. I'll give you guys a little secret. Um, roofs are my favorite, not my favorite, but are my specialty. I actually enjoy building roofs. Just look at look at all the roofs I've I've built around here. We won't talk about that one because it's not finished. So we can uh, take a look inside the house, and uh, it's very cozy in here. You know, we have a little fire. We have um, the the clerk. He he's the official mail courier for the king. Place to sit down, hang out. You know, not bad. In here will be where I leave the letters for you guys. So this letter reads: Hello everyone. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously. Also, the random word of the day is banana. Ashley actually helped me pick that up. Also starting comment and question of the day so feel free if you have any questions or comments of the day uh just leave it in the leave it in the comments and i'll i'll uh i'll give it a shout out why not and this is where um the mail from the king to me will be um or, or any like royal mail or anything like that so we have the normal oh there's multiple mail in here. Wait, well, this is the one we got earlier. Strange light. What is, what is this? I have received rumors of a light shining within the cavern between Yorkshire and Great Fish Island. I need you to go and investigate at once. Report back immediately with any findings. Hmm, that's very interesting. Thank you, King Cletheus. Interesting. Uh, I'll have to go check that out in a minute, but I'll, it's looking like I'm gonna have to sleep here in a second. So I don't know if you guys have been seeing the achievements below, but uh, Meanie is actually the the uh, the mayor of Great Fish Island. So um, I might I might go grab him and uh, check out this light that the king uh, the king was talking about. However, uh, I do want to talk about some changes that were made and why I I couldn't do the uh, giant boat house build in this episode. And it's because um, in an episode before I had made these mountains, these crazy mountains all over the place using World Painter. And um, do I have a boat? And World Painter actually broke my world like it was raining through buildings all that kind of stuff like i don't know if you can tell but there used to be like mountains all along here but i got rid of the, all that and i went back to a super old uh backup of my world so i actually had to rebuild a lot of things which took a lot of time and that's why i couldn't um i couldn't do that build in in this episode but definitely next episode I realized I've been neglecting my world because I've been playing on friends worlds a lot and like public servers, but I shouldn't neglect my world. This is uh, the world I'm going to be playing on forever and I'm going to definitely 100% keep it vanilla from now on. Like that world painter thing just kind of, you know, 
just ruined my world and it wasn't really worth it. What is happening here? All these turtles flocking to Great Fish Island, huh? Um, yeah, so that that's why uh, I wasn't able to start the mega build today. But from now on, I'll be doing pretty big builds and I'll be putting a lot of time and effort into this world instead of other worlds. So that's it. I have to find the mayor now of Great Fish Island because I do need to go investigate that for the king. Alright, so I think this is the cavern that King Cletheus was talking about. Um, I see something over here. Oh, mayor's running out. No. <gasps> There's actually something down here. What is this area? What is this? It says, You fools thought you could contain me. Darkness will befall the kingdom of Camelot, the slum chemist. Interesting. You want to read this? Anyways, guys, I have to report this back to the king. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the next one.